and welcome to VegasDrag.com and Kimberly's Confessionals Episode 2. Thanks for coming back and checking us out. I'm here with my first guest, John, and he's very excited to answer his question, aren't you, John? Yes, Ms. Fox. John, if you had a drink named after you, what would it be called and what would be in it? It would definitely have tequila. You don't want to have anything in it. Tequila? Is that because there's a little worm somewhere? Not a little worm. Not a little worm, really. <laughs> Wouldn't talk to me after we film it. What else would be in it? Just tequila. Just tequila. Straight up tequila. <laughs> I love a man who knows what he likes. And I think John knows exactly what he likes. You can see John here dancing with the boys at Charlie's several nights a week. Thanks, John. We love you. Thank you. Hi, and welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals on Underwear Night at Charlie's Las Vegas. Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm fabulous. You were one of our favorite from our first episode. Did you know that? No. <laughs> no, that yet. Yeah, it's because I know where he lost his virginity. Do you? Check out our first episode. You'll find out. Are you ready for your question? Absolutely. Mike, if you had to save the world and you had to have straight heterosexual sex, would it be with George Bush Sr. or George Bush Jr.? George Bush Sr. Yeah. Senior, really? Why is that? I think he had, I think he was I think he was a lot smarter than Jr. A lot smarter. I think you're probably right. Yeah. He's a lot smarter. Except I'm for the I'm sorry, I'm all about the brains. You're all about that's not what I've heard. <laughs> all about the brains, really. Well the brains aren't below the waist, honey. Well, after the second or third day, did you realize that it's the brains very true, very true. Well, Mike, like I said, you were one of our favorite on VegasDrag.com during our first episode. Thank you very much for coming back. You're very welcome. Thank you. And we'll be back. Welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals on VegasDrag.com. I'm here with one of our Vegas locals, Rex. How are you, Rex? Good, how are you? I'm fabulous. Thanks for coming into my office today. Oh, you're welcome. We're here on Wednesday night, underwear night at Charlie's Las Vegas. We love this bar, don't we? Yes, very much so. And one thing that you may not know out there in TV land is Rex is part of the Snappy, the Southern Nevada, Nevada area. What does Snappy stand for, Rex? I always get it wrong. Las Vegas Pride. It is Las Vegas Pride. That's right. He's part of the board on there, aren't you, Rex? Yes. And you're showing your skittles tonight. <laughs> Taste the rainbow, bitches. Rex, I have your question ready. Are you ready? Yes. Missionary or doggy? Which one and why? Doggy style, because it's more dirty than the missionary. It's more dirty. You should clean out first. Oh, girl, I do that. I'm sure you do. I've heard the rumors. Just joking. I love Rex. Rex, you are one of the fabulous people, fabulous locals. You can see you here several nights a week on Char at Charlie's and several nights a week all around town representing Snappy, can't you? Well, representing something. Representing something is right. When is Las Vegas Pride? Uh, September 16th and 17th. I love it. I'm gonna have a, a pride float, and I'm gonna be out there co-hosting one of the bar or one of the um, dance floors out there. So come on out in September and see Las Vegas Pride. Thank you, Rex. Welcome, my welcome back to VegasDrag.com. Kimberly's Confessionals, Episode Two, right here, filmed every Wednesday night at Charlie's Las Vegas during Underwear Night. I'm here with my next guest, Shannon. How are you, Shannon? I'm good. How are you? I'm fabulous. Shannon is one of our fabulous boys of Charlie's. I danced with them. You need to come out and dance with them too. Did you have fun with me, Shannon? I had so much fun. It's the best time. It is the best time. The boys of Charlie's are some of the fabulous boys, and I love them. I love them. I love them. Are you ready for your question? I'm ready. Shannon, where's the weirdest place you've had sex? The weirdest place I've had sex. Speak up, Swire. At home viewers can hear you. Okay, so the weirdest place I've had sex. I worked at a pool at home in New Jersey, and there was a guest, and we kind of like hit it off. I was talking to him all day. So I took him up. By the end of the day, he kind of was like giving me like drinks and all day. So I got kind of drunk. So I took him up to the tower where everyone holds towels and stuff, and we did it right in there. You 
did it in the towel room. That was a place that provided you not only with employment, but with cum rags. Exactly. <laughs> and you're from New Jersey. I didn't know. So, so are you Snook, more like Snooky or Jaywow? I'm more like Jaywow. That's good because Holly's more like Snooky. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. We'll be back. Welcome back to Kimberly's Confessionals, episode two at VegasDrag.com. Filmed every Wednesday night during Underwear Night right here at Charlie's Las Vegas. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Kimberly. Are you excited to be a part of my episode? Of course. I'm excited to have you. So excited we have to come to the bathroom. I know, right? Welcome to my office. I love it. I'm, I'm glad that Charlie's cleaned up. They speak and span and everything. Thank fucking God. Are you ready for your question? I'm ready for my question. Let's go, girl. If you had one chance to save the world, but you had to have heterosexual sex, would it be with George Bush Jr. or George Bush Sr.? Jr. Always Jr. Junior. And Junior would why? Because Jr. really way better. Trust me. But Jr. couldn't spell. But then again, I would I've, still do it. I've always heard that was a box of rocks, best in bed. Exactly. Yeah. So I probably do. Well, I do both of them because they have more money than God. I'm right there with you, girl. Trust me. Well, thank you, Mikey, for doing our show. I'm glad to do it. Anytime you ask, you know I'm there for you, love. Mikey's one of our regulars right here at Charlie's Las Vegas. Thank you, Mikey. You're welcome, darling. We'll be back. Hi, and welcome back to Kimberly Confessionals on VegasDrag.com. I'm here with my next guest, Patrick, and he's a Vegas local, but he never goes out. Welcome to Kimberly's Confessionals, Patrick. Hi, welcome. Are you excited to be here? I am beyond excited. You're so excited you're sitting on a toilet. <laughs> I'm ecstatic and that makes me sit on the toilet. <laughs> Welcome to my office. I'm going to ask you your question. Are you ready? Um, yes. yes, he's ready. You better believe he's ready for this one. Missionary or doggy? Uh, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Which is your favorite? Missionary. And why is Missionary your favorite? Well, I like to see the person. <laughs> oh, so does that mean you're a top or a bottom? <laughs> okay. Don't well, worry, it's just between you, me, and the camera. Okay. Well, I guess it kind of depends on the person, but I can be a top. Do you consider yourself versatile? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a straight answer straight being the narrative word here, are we? Stra um, okay, so top or bottom, Patrick? <laughs> versatile. Versatile. I love a versatile man. Just remember, boys at home, if you sit on it, that doesn't make you a top. Thank you, Patrick. Sit on what? We'll be back. Welcome back to VegasDrag.com, Kimberly's Confessionals. I'm here with a very dear friend of mine who just moved to Las Vegas from Minneapolis. It's Chris. Hi, are you Chris? I'm great. How are you, Kimberly? I'm fabulous. Are you ex loving, living, and exciting Las Vegas? I am. It's wonderful, wonderful. Well, welcome to my office, and I'm sure you just made yourself at home. I did. It's great. Chris, I'm going to ask you your question. I hope you're ready. No. <laughs> Go ahead. It's something I've wanted to know for a long time. <laughs> Where is the weirdest place you've ever had sex? Really? <laughs> Absolutely. You're from Minneapolis, so. Well, I'm not from Minneapolis, but I'm from Minnesota. And the weirdest place I've ever had sex was probably in a combine. <laughs> in a combine or on a combine? In a combine. Inside the combine itself. <laughs> I've been inside a combine. There's not much room. <laughs> That's true. It was a tight fit, but it worked well. I've heard nothing's a tight fit with you, Chris. No, bitch, trust. <laughs> Thank I'll you, Chris. I'll you. We love you. Thank <laughs> you. We'll no. be back. <laughs> Welcome back to VegasDrag.com and Kimberly's Confessionals. I'm here with one of our regulars, Aiden. Welcome back, Aiden. Thank you. I'm always here. Every night. Every night, it seems. Right here at Charlie's Las Vegas. Welcome back to my office. Oh, my God. I love sitting on your toilet. Sitting on my toilet. We it's love warm. that. We it's love warm. that Charlie's, Brandon, and Michael cleaned up the place, don't we? It smells like bleach. It smells like bleach, just like Brandon's bedroom. <laughs> Are you ready for your question? No, but give it to me anyway. So that's what you say every night. 
not to me. I'm a married woman. Listen, Mom. If you had a drink named after you, what would it be called and what would be in it? Aiden Bama Slammer. Aiden Bama Slammer. Sunlight Cupper, Slow Gen, Amaretto, Orange Juice, Grenadine, and a splash of me. A splash of you. Does that mean you have the swizzle stick on you? Yes. I've heard. It would be in a highball glass instead of a tall. It's gotta be extra tall. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna look flat. Aiden, it's every time you catch me off guard, and I love you for that. And I love, I love catching off guard. Will you be back next week? Uh, do you know that? Know me? He'll be back next week. Thank you, Aiden. You're welcome, love. Love we'll, you, Kimberly. We'll love you too. We'll be back. Well, that was a fabulous and very informative episode, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was kind of intriguing in some ways. Like that. Yes, it was. Very, very intriguing. Jordan, I, I want to say thank you for having you as my co-host. It's been my pleasure as always, Kimberly. I appreciate you very much, like I'm sure a lot of you out there in TV land do. Thank you all for tuning in yet again to Kimberly's Confessionals Round 2. And we'll be back, but thank you to VegasDrag.com, Charlie's Las Vegas, Holly Holiday, and the cast. We'll be back. Don't forget, show up on Wednesdays and you might be filmed.